How's it going everybody? This is Kasuya and the Game Hunter is my channel. I uh, want to welcome you guys and this is a new episode of Hearthstone. I hope you guys are enjoying my previous videos and I think I think we have a, a lot of people interested in this game that is still better. So we're going to be releasing some information, decks, uh, different cards, different strategies and stuff like that. Uh, in this episode we're just going to I'm gonna present you a very basic priest deck that I've been using lately. Very effective. Uh, one of the cool things is that most of the cards that you're using in this deck are not expert cards, are actually cards that you can unlock um, when you play actually with a priest deck. Okay, the, this, I think I can't promise that 100%, but I think at least 90% of the cards are part of this uh, basic card of the priest deck or some of the neutral cards okay so that's why it's very important to just to give you an idea this is just a basic deck that you guys can use when you start playing the game and it's very effective okay don't don't be you're gonna be surprised that doesn't matter if uh, how basic it is it is it's still is very very effective so let's go to this one it's called basic priest for a reason because it only use basic stuff okay um what are the cool thing about the priest, as you guys probably remember, uh, the hero power is that he restores two health. So that could be very interesting, and you can play this in so many different ways. Okay, you can play this one with the creatures that use enrage as uh, one of the the <clears throat> special abilities. Remember, when you when you have a creature with enrage, uh, it's gonna do more damage if they actually injure. Okay, so you can probably play around with attacking, doing more damage, and then probably restoring the health of those creatures and keep them alive. Or you can play uh, this ability in a deck with unit with actually strong defense. Okay, and this is actually what we're gonna do in this basic uh, priest deck. Okay, so what we're we gonna do? We're gonna use, be using two Holy Smite, very straightforward, deal two damage. So you can use this one and any second the idea of this deck is to hold your enemy at the beginning and be able to actually control him with the following a couple cards that i'm going to be mentioning in a few more minutes and then you guys are going to probably have an idea of what i'm trying to do okay i'm going to also tell you what is the weakness about this deck but let's try to be positive right <laughs> all right so we're going to have two holy smite very simple one mana two damage is very good you can do against uh, you can apply this against creature or hero so it can save you at any second so it's always important to have these kind of cards okay this is another interesting card because uh like as i was mentioned before in this deck which is very basic it is probably based in creatures with some strong health okay very good defense so the, with the power war shield i'm gonna give a minion plus two in health and i'm gonna draw a car which is awesome and very important because one of the things that i like to accomplish in all my deck is to be able to draw a card as soon as possible i want to have as many as i can i want to be able to plan my strategy as soon as possible um you know and to do that you need to go through your deck as soon uh, as fast as you can right so drawing cards is going to allow you to build your strategy in your mind very very fast and this one like i say i'm gonna i have two cards of this one power war shield because uh, increasing into the health on a minion and again i'm drawing a car so it's a, like a no-brainer okay uh this is another very popular car with a priest is the northshire cleric what it does is whenever a minion is healed, I can draw a card. And this of course of course works perfectly with the priest. Okay? Because well, like I say, some of the creatures that I'm gonna be using in this deck I have some good health. Um, and for some reason I'm gonna be able to use my hero power with them quite often to keep them alive. And if I have one of these North Shield Cleric, I should be able to draw more cards and get through my deck as soon as possible, get the cards that I need. Okay. Now, this is one of the cards that is going to be key in this deck. It's Shadow War Pain. What it does is destroy a minion with three or less in attack. This is huge. Okay. This is very, very important. Uh, like I say, I'm not, I don't have like a strong creatures, but I have these kind of counters. 
Shadow War Pain and Shadow War Death are lethal in this deck. Okay, and with this one, I'm going to be able to destroy any minion with three or less in attack. And uh, with Shadow War Death, which I'm going to show you in a few more seconds, uh, you are going to be able to destroy any minion with five attack or more. So I'm, I have some kind of range that is covered by this card, and I have two of each. So they can save me big time. Big time, guys. Okay. Uh, probably you guys already got an idea what could be the weakness about this deck. Uh, if I play a, against a deck that has a lot of 4-4 four, four creatures, or I mean creature with 4 attack, I'm in trouble. <laughs> let's put it that way, but let's be positive, okay? So after the Shadow War Pain, we're gonna get to Novice Engineers. I love this card, it's very cheap, 2 mana, and uh, the Battle Cry is draw a card. Once again, trying to go through my deck as soon as possible. It's very important, I got 2 of these cards. Now the, finally we have one of the creatures that very interesting in this deck is the River Cocalisk. Uh, what it does is a 2 3 with only 2 mana, and that is actually pretty good. It's a very interesting creature. It's, it's a basic neutral creature that you can use in any deck, but it works very well with the priest, especially because you can put that card um, on, the, on the battlefield very fast. Okay, so that allows you to probably get an advantage against your enemy. You can start attacking and then healing with your priest. And at the same time you're gonna be building your your strategy with the cards that you're gonna be collecting in each turn. So it's gonna let you win time and it's very important. So I got two of these Crocolisk. Uh, the other card that I was mentioned to you guys before the Shadow War Death uh, for obvious reason. They destroy a minion with attack of five of more which is great when you fight against decks with uh, monster creatures like uh, Sometimes the, the Druid, sometimes the, the Warlock also, they have some amazing legendary creatures and uh, these kind of cards are actually gonna let you get out of trouble very, very soon. Uh, the Grizzly, Iron Fur Iron Grizzly is uh, another card that I have in this deck. Uh, the reason is because it's very cheap, it's only 3 mana and it's a 3-3 three, three creature with Taunt. Okay. As remember, you guys know the taunt. That means that uh, they are my enemy is forced to attack me. Okay, attack this creature before attacking anybody else or the hero. Okay, so that's why it's really very important. This is a protective card. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna allow you to probably survive a couple turns if you're able to use the the hero power and heal this grizzly on time. All right. Another very important card. And I know a lot of people use it in many, many, many buildings. Is the Shatter Sun Cleric? Why? Because it's very. <laughs> look at the Butter Cry. Remember, if you guys are new in this one, I'm gonna remind you the Butter Cry is an action that you use with that creature when you put it on play only. Okay. So the Butter Cry in this one is a give a friendly minion plus one in attack and plus one in health, and that is amazingly powerful. Could you imagine I have a river? A river cockalisk with plus one plus one. I got a three on four, which is gonna be tough to kill. No, and it's gonna be doing a lot of damage in every turn. Okay? So this car is I can see it pretty much in and I'm not gonna say in every deck, but I know it's one of the favorites right now. It's very cheap, it's only three. And the creature by itself is a three two. So it's it's not something that you can like a forget about it. It's a very interesting creature. But the battle cry is amazing, the plus one plus one helped a lot. Okay, so I got two of those. The Shieldwind Yeti is another one. So the, uh, it's another neutral creature. It's a four mana uh, with four attack and five defense. I mean, there's nothing magical about it. There is no battle cry special abilities, but it's a very powerful. It's one of the powerful creatures that you can get for four mana. Okay, four and five is very interesting, especially you have the priest that can be healing your troops from behind, okay? So that's another card that I recommend to having this basic priest deck. The Gnomich Inventor is another one that I like. It's also a four mana. I always try to keep a balance between how many cards I have with one mana, two mana, three mana, four mana, five mana, or more, okay? Um, because you, uh, depending on that is how many, which card you can play in which turn. Um, I mean, if you can plan your strategy in your mind uh, with your deck, 
that's actually going to help you a lot. That way, when you get your cards in your hand, you're going to be able, okay, I got this three, that's four, and, and drawing cards like crazy with all my cards that I have the Novice Engineer, with the, the Power War Shield, the North Shark Cleric, and this Nomage Inventor, this, which has a, a Valor Cry, draw a card. So it's another 2 4 creature. Very decent. Uh, I can keep drawing cards, which is what I need. Okay? I got two of those creatures also. The Sentient Shield Master is another interesting card. A lot of people use it. I, I, I think I have this card pretty much in probably 90% of the decks that I'm using uh, because you have Taunt and it's a 3 5 creature. Alright? So if you have a creature like this and you have the Priest, uh, can you imagine this Sentient Shield Master with a Power, uh, power War Shield? Which is going to increase in plus to my health and my priest healing this guy. It's a deadly combo. It's a really, really annoying. You can use this one to attack too. That's the funny part, and it does a decent amount of damage, three on five. So this uh, this Shatter uh, Sun Cleric actually works pretty interesting and pretty good with this deck because the kind of creatures that I have are are simple but powerful. Okay. So adding that plus one in attack, plus one in defense is gonna actually help me a lot. Uh, Holy Nova is another one, card that is a must in this deck. It deals two damage to all enemies and restore two health to all friendly characters. This is amazing, that's another way to keep your troops alive. That's the whole point of this deck, keep them alive. And this one, two damage to all enemies, that's including the hero, that's a lot. <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's a lot. So that's another card that we have. We need to have the dark, uh, dark scale healer. Is another interesting one. Uh, five mana, which is not too bad. Um, and at this point, the cool thing is that the battle cry it restores two health for all friendly characters. Like you see, see, it's not just the hero healing your troops. Some of the creatures are also healing them. Some of the spells that I'm using are also healing them. So you can have an idea, okay, where I'm going with this deck. At this point, I should be able to control the match between the Shadow War Pain and Shadow War Death, right? Unless, like I say, if I got a um, fighting against creature with four attack, then I can be in trouble. <laughs> but like I said, let's try to be positive. And my ace, this is my ace. The one that I'm holding in case something goes wrong, in case my enemies start bringing some legendary or most monsters creatures, uh, I got the mind control, which is pretty much take control of an enemy minion. <laughs> I don't really need to talk more about it. It really upset people when, after you spend the whole game controlling with big creatures, healing them, healing them, healing them, finally your enemy is able to collect, let's say, 8, 9, or 10 of mana, and they can finally get one freaking monster and put it on the battlefield. With one car, can we papa? <laughs> Simple as that. And this is it, the basic priest deck. Uh, this is Kesuya the Game Hunter. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm gonna be post. There is so many different decks that you can have, even with the same class. Even with the same class, you can play around with so many uh, different cars, strategies and stuff like that, so uh, like I said, this, let's be positive, okay, I don't wanna, I hope that people don't get this like, a, okay, this is a masterful deck, this is always gonna win, no, it's just an idea, it's just uh, how to probably orient the newcomers to this game, to have like a basic deck with a priest that can be very effective, yeah? very, very effective, um, and like I said, don't forget, subscribe, put your comments, and like my videos if you can. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, everybody.